hello everyone this is a demo video for the new features that i have added to the dynamic paint the first is the brush color the second is the uv flow and the third is the mesh flow and in the end of this video i also show you how you can use this setup as an assets or how you can append this into a your project file so let's get start so the first uh, feature that i have added to the dynamic paint is the brush color now you can specify the color of the brush based on the image texture or the color map so in this case i am using an image texture to specify the color for this brush and here this is the image i am using for the color and for the coordinate i am using the uv map of this input plane to map this textures on this object so for this if you want more details from this image textures you have to input a mesh that has a more number of subdivisions or you have to increase the number of subdivisions for that so in this case i am using uh, this brush only for the first frame by using this setup however uh, you can use this uh, brush dynamically for this brush color as well it going to pick up the color uh, based on the image texture that is mapped on this image plane and for the material uh, i have divided this material into two types and this is uh, you can use for the paint flow or if you want uh, to use the brush color for that you going to use this setup and here i am using the color attribute that is created by this dynamic paint node for this color brush this one and if you want to use a normal color like as a normal paint flow you can use this color for the paint otherwise you going to use this one for the color brush and this material is for the uv flow or mesh flow and the second feature is the uv flow and mesh flow for that you have to enable this uh, setting just enable this one now we have to switch the material go to the material and plug this one into the material output and it's going to use this material and this is the uv map which is uh, derived by the or the modified by this dynamic paint so for the uv flow you have to input the uv map of this input canvas it's going to modify that uv map so let me go to the first frame and let also decrease the number of subdivisions so that we can play this see is drifting downward uh, based on this uh, force and you can switch uh, between this uv flow or the mesh flow uh, for the mesh flow it works uh, fine for this plane object as well as for the spherical objects if the mesh is more complex then you should use the paint flow or the uv flow and uh, like in paint uh, we have paint damp factor we have also a uv mesh flow damp factor so you can use this uh, similarly that you can drive uh, based on this noise and you can also uh, smooth the uv maps based on uh, this number of iterations as well as the weight uh, another thing i would like to mention here is that another thing i would like to mention here is that these forces also works uh, for the uv mesh flow but the brush settings is only for the paint flow it's not for the uv mesh flow and now i'll show you the how you can append or use this as an assets so let us first append this setup into a different file so let's open a new file so we have this new file then go to the file append and then navigate on the dynamic paint plant file double click on this it will open these sections and then go to the object and append this dynamic paint object and it will append dynamic paint object as well as the objects that are related uh, to this uh, setup so this is the dynamic paint object then we have this empty and the canvas which is this plane so you have this and let me press home key to bring this section here and the another way is to use this as an assets so let's uh, first go to the file so this is the dynamic paint file so you have to copy this file into your assets folder so here is my asset folder so i copied this so this is the file now let's go to the blender and let's refresh this and if we go to the assets browser we will see the 
dynamic paint object so here it is and you can append this from the asset browser so it will give the dynamic paint object empty as well as the canvas object let me switch this to a geometry nodes so here is the setup so in this way you can append this or you can use this as an assets now i quickly break down one of my project file so this is uh, my project file so here i'm basically using the uv flow on this uh, suzanne and i'm uh, using this material and using the uv map that is derived by the dynamic paint So this is it about this update and you can download uh, this setup from my uh, Patreon page and it is also available on the Blender market as well as on my Gumroad page. So thank you for watching. Until next time, happy noting. Bye.